Today's guest on Founders Hustle is Vajiha Khalid Varacha. She is the co-founder and COO of Cubix Global, a digital marketplace for sea freight. Vajiha has been chosen in the top 12 of ABWE for her revolutionary business idea. Let's talk about Cubix Global with Vajiha. Hello and welcome to the Founders Hustle. And today we have Vijiha Khalid Paracha with us. She is the COO of Cubix. It's uh, glad to have you here, Vijiha. How Thank are you? Thank you. Likewise, I'm glad to be here and you know share with uh, you my journey and you know be inspired from you know the other uh, eleven co-founders that will be joining. Uh, you know, we'll be you know soon going to the Silicon Valley. So yes, it's amazing to you know be here uh -huh. and interviewed by you. That's amazing. That's amazing. So, uh, when did you start your journey, Vijiha? So, my entrepreneurial journey started uh, way back in 2017. You can say I was still working full time uh, with uh, corporate. So, I got a chance to work with Mobile Inc. And then, you know, I switched roles, and you know, I started working with Group M. But I met my co-founder back in 2015 at Arab uh, Summit, and we, you know, got a chance to interact with each other. And uh, we found out that we had a lot more similar interests and we were work working on a lot of similar projects. So we said that why not, I mean, let's come together, let's put our uh, thinking hats, uh, you know, th uh, thinking hats together, let's put them on and, you know, then uh, let's think of, you know, doing some, uh, you know, maybe uh, small paying gigs in the beginning and then let's see the, where it goes. So out of the few out of box ideas that we tried on, you know, we uh, tried some uh, something to work on a project called iBeacon Technology and, you know, a couple of other ideas. Uh, out of those ideas that we were testing, Cubex Global was one that stood out from the, you know, rest of them. It, we really, you know, it really got us excited and, you know, from there we started working on it and, you know, it took us a, a, a little more time than, you know, somebody from the freight and logistics industry yeah. to, you know, explore the industry. So that's how, you know, it all got started. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Tell yes. me something about Cubex. So uh, Cubex Global is a marketplace uh, where we connect uh, freight forwarders with shippers, small importers and exporters. So they connect on our platform and uh, the business model is essentially that we are enabling freight forwarders to, uh, you know, um, trade their excess inventory with us exclusively because that excess inventory literally translates into a $25 billion loss for the freight forwarding industry. So it's it in itself, it's a very big uh, market opportunity. And on the other side, on the demand side, where, you know, importers and uh, exporters and shippers who are looking forward to, you know, move their cargo at uh, last minute and you know they are looking for cheaper options of course they can come to our platform and you know buy can buy that inventory at cheaper rates because of course that is the excess inventory which the freight forwarders are anyway you know losing money on so it's definitely cheaper than the market so it's a way to you know freight for, uh, for freight forwarders and shippers to get connected on a single platform and do the trading uh, in uh, which regions or countries you're working recently? So we have uh, our uh, on-ground presence in Pakistan, then UAE, then Oman, for the reason being that uh, UAE has the ninth biggest port in the world, seaport in the world, which is Jabal Ali. So that uh, makes uh, Quebec's, uh, Quebec's head office to be an ideal position to be located at. But having said that, having our engineering team based out of Pakistan, you know, it gives us an immense pleasure that you know we are uh, Pakistanis and you know the business is has its strong roots in Pakistan especially both the co-founders are Pakistanis. So uh, how has been your journey uh, because we all face ups and downs in our journeys yeah. and uh, so we're, uh, and I would like to come to this point uh, was there any setback moment that you felt uh, no Vajiha you cannot do this? Oh absolutely in the beginning it was like a mammoth of a task that we felt that we wouldn't be able to do it on yeah. our own because none of us from uh, were from the you know freight and logistics background and you know me uh, although i had an engineering degree and you know my co-founder he had like uh, he knew how to code and stuff but you know going there and doing the on ground research it felt like absolutely mammoth of a hell of a task to you know do that 
but uh, you know um, we uh, we also saw an opportunity in that uh, challenge and that was since we weren't from the industry we could see a lot of challenges and a lot of opportunities in that industry which you know uh, the pe the people who were you know um, who were handling the routine tasks and who were from the industry weren't able to see so that's how you know we were able to innovate and you know we were able to think outside the box uh, what do you think uh, is it easy for the women uh, to work in our country like you have uh, mm. experienced it you have worked uh, and mm. uh, you know you're an entrepreneur so is it easy like yes or no well uh, there are uh, there are certain glass ceilings honestly i did feel them while working in the corporate and you know i did feel them when i was embarking on my entrepreneurial journey to begin with my co-founder was always given a leeway by the investors and you know by the top uh, corporate personnel and you know they always thought they always took him serious and they always thought of me as a person who would you know stay at the back side and you know would probably do some office stuff yeah. or probably do some marketing campaigns but not more than that and uh, honestly uh, I I used to be like so hesitant around speaking to investors initially that I always used to pu push my co-founder and you know go there and you know do the meetings with the investors and be the front face of the you know, yeah. uh, you know of our company but you know the turning uh, point uh, for us was uh, when we won the Ocean Innovation Award and I was the person who took this initiative and submitted the application and I was the person who actually you know spoke to the forum uh, people that you know listen and this is our startup and we uh, see is as a perfect fit for this uh, uh, cohort that you are planning to roll out so from there you know uh, things started to get turned around. But yeah, we always talk about uh, the past challenges that mm -hmm. you faced uh, what challenges are you facing in like you know uh, mm -hmm. in present? So, uh, as far as business is concerned, of course, every day uh, we are faced with a different set of challenges. Sometimes it's growth, sometimes it's, you know, landing the investment, sometimes it's, you know, managing our uh, operating expenses so that, you know, we do not uh, burn out. But uh, uh, I mean, all those set of challenges, what I have personally felt is that the number of challenges that I face on a daily basis, I always find a way uh, to you know turn around those challenges and always come up come out strong as a stronger person so it uh, challenges whether you know i see them that they might get solved or might not get solved in the short shorter term it definitely you know provides a different pers perspective to look at things and you know uh, you know the way to you know overcome them yeah uh, and vijiha uh, if we go back um, like uh, go back to 2015 where you started your journey from would you like to advise that vijiha hmm. this vijiha would like to advise something <laughs> uh i i think the advice would have been that i should have kick started my journey way earlier because uh -huh. i was hesitant to take a step I took that step very like in 2018 I shifted uh, from my full time job to you know my startup so the sooner you start the better it is because you uh, see it's if you are the first time co-founder you are defi definitely going to make some mistakes and the sooner you do those mistakes the sooner you are going to learn from them and rather than you know regretting it later on that oh if I had started it earlier by now I would have been here so the advice is definitely to uh, you know let go of my fears and you know if if there is something which i am aiming at i should rather start it now rather than waiting for it to happen at a later state uh, so Vijiha, is there any message for other women entrepreneurs or those girls and women who are afraid to take a step yes so uh, first of all do not be uh, afraid of anything I mean, literally anything is possible right now with the internet. I mean, there is a, there are a lot of opportunities that you could not think of previously, and you know you, uh, you know those opportunities are just there, and you just need to tap into those opportunities. Do not be afraid at all, because if you have a stable job and you are afraid that you know losing this job will. Uh, how will how am I gonna you know manage my expenses so you can always start your journey while being in the job and you know jump ships when you see that there is you know what what you saw is actually happening so do not be afraid to you know um, uh, jump ship 
uh, and do not be afraid to you know handle uh, you know do not make uh, scenarios in your head that oh if i'm going to you know start it now how i'm, I'm going to juggle it alongside my full time job it always you know happens because if there is a motivation if there is an internal motivation so it's always going to happen so do not be you know just afraid just do it just start doing it today because you are going to regret it later on that you yeah. did not even you know take a start and you you had the opportunity and then you did not because you were afraid so just that's let go amazing. of your fears that's amazing thank you so much rishiha for being with us it was a pleasure meeting you and uh, that's it uh, this was rishiha and she is a participant of apwe and uh, we are looking forward uh, to hear more about uh, rishiha and her journey thank you so much for being with us